What is up, people? Leafer back with another returning custom. Genos once again from One Punch Man. It's been a while since I first made him. It was time for a rework, and I'm very happy with this. So I'm just going to go over a couple of things that the old one didn't have. The arms didn't have any detail at all. They were just gray. That was it. Um, these white lines were pretty damn shitty. Like, they were really messy looking and just not good at all. Added these uh, light gray lines right there for his neck. That connects to his body. And a new sculpt. Uh, this old sculpt was pretty good, but not that good. One of the few first customs I used clay for, I think. I'm not too sure. But definitely was a beginner with the clay. But I think it was uh, pretty decent when I just had started out with it. But now I'm very satisfied with this Genos, just like I was when I finished my new One Punch Man. Uh, still haven't made a face for him though. I said I was going to make a new one, still haven't done that. So now that's over, let's take a closer look. Face remained the same, I just filled in his eyes a little bit more. And if I'm ever going to make a new sculpt for him, it's going to be completely made out of clay. So that's pretty much one of the few things with this figure. Uh, last figure, one of the last figures that I'm using a Lego hair piece as a base. And then you got his neck piece right here, some gray linings. I just thought I'd add that in just for more details, because it just has this black top, so make the figure stand out a little bit more. And the arms were quite annoying to make, and you know, when you gotta make the same thing on both arms, it's just not gonna work out that well. I mean, they might look the same, but it's just that like this side is might be a little bit more compact, while this one, well this one is more pushed together, and this one is more like the way I want it to be, just a little bit more distance between everything. But this one is just jammed together. Made this side first, obviously. And then this one. Like, that's one thing I learned with this figure as well. Um, do not work on everything at the same time. Like, finish one arm, and then it's easier to mimic that, and then just do the same thing, pretty much. Rather than, like, painting this thing, and then you doing on the other arm, it doesn't add up. So that's something I learned making this figure. Uh, finish one side before I do the other. So there you have it. A uh, quick look at Genos. Not much has changed. But yeah, the little things that did, did a whole lot to the figure. And I'm really happy with it. Let's do a side by side here with Saitama. Yeah. And as I said, I really gotta make a new face for him. Gotta trash this face. I really don't like it. So, no real mob. So that's it for this time. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Mm, bye.